Okay, Tubies. What I'm doing today is showing you this Kubota 48 inch mower deck from my GR 2010 mower. When I was mowing this summer, I was hearing a noise, like a grinding noise, coming from the deck. It seemed like there was some kind of issue with a bearing, and I brought it in here in the fall and went to service it cleaned the deck out and oiled up and taken things apart. I had removed the belt and spun the blades by hand and found that the outboard spindles were pretty rough. One very rough, one slightly rough. The gear box spindle uh, was pretty good. It seemed pretty smooth, but I wanted to share with you all what I found and what I found was the lower bearing on the two outboard spindles were rusted. You can see when I took them apart the only regret here is I wished I would have filmed and showed you the noise that it was making prior to the disassembly. This assembly was pretty easy. Uh, there's a there's a nut on the top, the spindle shaft, and you remove it, and the spindle shafts have a hex inside. They slide right off of the top of the spindle shaft. The bottom side fits inside of the seal. Uh, pretty simple, and actually where the blade attaches, the whole blade and the complete shaft will come right out of the bottom of the cup that houses the barracks. Uh, pretty easy. They tapped right out of the uh, fitting out of the uh, housing with a punch and uh, this is a small hammer. Now the center shaft has a keeper snap ring on it. It's a little different. The center shaft uses the bearing inside of the gearbox to hold the top of the shaft in alignment and the bottom of the shaft houses the bearing houses in the housing and it, is, it has a snap ring that holds it inside of the housing. So that snap ring has to be removed but first uh, you have to take the uh, bottom off, there's a small snap ring that you have to take off that allows this piece to come off. It, it is the seal carrier and then you take the seal, pry the seal out. You can see where I kind of dented it in and pulled it out and then I pulled the bearing out. Now the bearing is kind of yucky, uh, kind of contaminated so I went ahead and placed an order for all the bearings and seals. Just uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace everything. The machine has about 250 hours, 200, and I think maybe 60 hours. I'm not sure. It's right around in there. And I'm finding out that there's a somewhat of a design flaw here, especially on these outer uh, shafts. The grease port that services the outer shaft bearings uh, is up way up high. It seems like the top bearings get good grease, but the bottom bearings in the, on the shaft, uh, they're actually not getting the grease they need to, to keep their life expectancy alive. Now the top, of, if you can see, uh, I'm not sure down in there, there's a port, and it's pretty well centered down low, and it'll it grease the bottom bearing seem quite well. And I just wanted to share that with you. I'm probably going to put this together and hopefully have a couple more parts to this video uh, to, to show you what's going on. Parts, are a real good website I found was this Messix website. Uh, they have a pretty good deal on their website where you can see the drawing and the assembly drawings, exploded views, and they show the stock parts and prices and everything. Uh, 
and their shipping and delivery is super quick. So with that in mind, I'll continue this maybe in a couple more parts and I'll post it as I go. Thanks for watching.